Hey everyone, it's John here from Contra BIM and this video today I am super excited for because it's for users around the world who are working in ARCHICAD and Excel but speak a different language than English. So this video we're going to run through this new workflow that I've developed and talk about how fast and easy it is to actually translate our Excel uh, estimate templates to any language that you may be speaking. So this is really a big breakthrough for us here in 2021. And from this point forward, we're committed to setting this up in every single one of our Excel files so that you can quickly translate one single sheet and then have that populate throughout the entire workbook in any language that you are working in. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to jump into a quick workflow here. We can play around with a few different language variations and I just want to point out how uh, easy this workflow is to go from English to whatever language you are speaking here. So, all right, so here we are. We have our Excel systems uh, worksheet loaded up here. And the first thing that I want to point out is this sheet is, uh, it's, it looks like a nice kind of clean summary here, but if we start expanding these, you'll see that we have a lot of line items here on the left. We can go even one level deeper here. And you can see that we just have a substantial amount of descriptors here, line items. If we go all the way down to the bottom, we are what, like almost 400, 500 line items deep. So to go through and to manually uh, translate these to any language definitely takes a lot of time. But one thing you'll notice here, as I'm clicking on these cells uh, up here in the formula bar, all of this is linking back to our project info sheet. So our project info has really become a, uh, uh, a primary input sheet for our entire workbook where all you need to do is change the values on this sheet and it's going to populate throughout. So as we click around here, you can actually see up here at the top, everything is going to project info, uh, our unit cost, our units, quantities, everything here is referring back to our project information sheet. Now this is true for our summaries, uh, our alternative summaries, our international summaries, everything here is going back to that project info. On our individual sheets, that's the same thing as well. You can see everything is pointing back here. And the reason for doing this is if we actually go to this project info, info sheet, uh, we just essentially have a listing here of uh, headline values. We have a listing of uh, our uniformat summary values. We have CSI and we have an international uh, summary here as well. We also have some other key inputs like our unit of measurement. We have our story names and numbers and um, yeah, a lot of different headline values here that go and kind of populate throughout the entire workbook. So what we've done here is we've just built the whole workbook out so that everything refers back to this sheet and we can translate this sheet by using free online translators, uh, many of which are using Google Translate. So that's what I want to demonstrate now is how fast we can go from English here to another language. So all I need to do is I just need to copy the values on this sheet. Um, I like actually creating a just a new blank workbook here. We can paste these directly in and now we have a copy. I'm just simply going to do a save as. In this case, I'm still kind of working in our language, I'll call this a language version here from our uh, S Office live demonstration we did last week. So uh, if you missed that, go back and check that out. It's a 60 minute challenge uh, and um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So uh, this is going to be English inputs is what I'm going to save this as. And so now we have this file here that we can run through an online translator. Now, the translator that I've been using that's actually really been quite useful and uh, does a pretty good job of translating this and returning us a download is this onlinedoctranslator.com. Now, I'll share a link in the description, but um, it's really simple. We just go to the translator and we can drag and drop our uh, file here. So I'm just taking my English inputs, we're going to drag and drop, and it's automatically going to determine what language it's from, and we can pick and choose what language we want to go to. So in this case, let's just, um, I don't know, we can do really any language here. Uh, let's do one that's, let's do like Portuguese as an example. So we pick 
English to Portuguese, we translate. And what's nice about this is it's actually using uh, Google Translate in the background, but it's taking our file and it's uh, running it through. And all we have to do now is just download it. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to uh, just kind of drag and drop it over here into our version. So this is now an English inputs to Portuguese. I always like just kind of running this through real quick just to scan it, just to make sure, you know, anytime you get something from the internet, it's good to just do a quick uh, check to make sure that everything is, is safe. And then from here, we can open this up and just check it out real quick. So, um, all right, we are opening we can see that it's a protected view, so we can enable editing now. And here we go. So now we have our translated input sheet. Uh, what I typically like doing on this is just kind of running through and looking at some of the major changes. So I can see things like the units have been changed uh, slightly. These types of areas, need we need to be careful with uh, those values because they need to match exactly how things are being published out from Archicad. Uh, same thing with like our takeoff bins over here. We need to make sure that these are matching exactly as well. Uh, but we have things like our stories, we have building phases, and we have these major classification lists here that you can see, you know, we're almost 500 lines deep. Uh, all of these have been translated. I always like running through and just kind of checking some of the headline values here and just changing a few of these just to the format that I'm uh, used to seeing here. So I'll change just that A back to an A. Uh, I like just running down the list and it looks like most of this came through. It did keep our indexes relatively intact except for that one value that I modified. But besides that, everything is looking pretty good. Of course, these translations, it's going through and running it just based off the English version. So um, depending on the nomenclature and the industry terms that you use in your region and in your language, you may need to go through and make a few updates here. But, um, but the power behind this is now all we need to do is we can just take these columns, copy, and I'm going to close down our English inputs. Let's open back up our Excel template that we started with here. And we can just simply paste. Oop, let's try that again. So from our Portuguese version, I am copying and then I am pasting. So you can see everything now is translated over. And if we start to kind of play around and see where this is being populated into, we can go first here to our uh, system summary. So we can start expanding these. And yes, we can see that all of these have been translated. Um, we can go over to our secondary summaries and obviously the same thing, our international summaries. So we can expand this and yes, it is all translated and even on our system sheets here, as we click through, we can see that yes, everything here has been translated, including all of our charts and graphics and our summaries and um, pretty much everything else. So there's a few areas that we have not translated yet, like our link codes. So we could go back and do um, that here real quick. So simply going to just pull up the Portuguese version and we can just grab this entire thing. Actually, what I would like to do is I'd like to grab, you know, the majority of it here. So we'll grab our top lines. Um, where did I start that from? From the top. So our headlines, we've now switched over. We can grab our additional values here. So I'm going to paste these in. Um, the takeoff bin is one I'm always really careful on because these are referencing some formulas here. Um, where if we look at this, these are going to actually be used and pulling from our Archicad file. So those need to match exactly from Archicad once again, but it's really as simple as that. Everything else now, our formatted report here, if we look at our print view, you can see that pretty much everything here is in Portuguese now. Uh, we didn't do our stories. Let's get our stories in there. So we can just simply copy, jump here to our project info, paste, oops, the wrong one paste into our stories and we can jump right back and 
we can see our stories have now been updated. So uh, pretty powerful stuff here. At any point, if we wanna go back in and just change any of these values, we just change it here once and it's going to populate through everything else. So if I wanted to say, just switch this one back to story one, then we can do that and just kind of check and it's going to populate everywhere because it's all linked back to that same input sheet. So it makes it really, really easy to update. So, all right, so that is the workflow. You can see how fast this is. We can go and just quickly do one more version of this here. Let's do a new translation. I'm going to drop my English inputs in and we can go to, let's do one that's slightly different, you know, in different values. So let's go to Hebrew in this case. Um, so we can run this through. Download the translated. Drag and drop to my language versions. Once again, I like doing my little scanner. So, looks good. So, I'm going to close down, I'll hit save, close down my Portuguese version, and we will open up our Hebrew version. Enable editing. And then it is the same exact process here. So this time I'm just going to take all of these columns, copy. Um, actually, again here, I may just go through and I always like just updating these, you know, so that the at least the top formatting matches. Um, so we are just running down the list. Well, we don't actually... I mean, we don't we don't need to. This is all totally customizable, so you can do that however you want. But we'll we can switch over just a few. So I'm copying. I'm going back to my project info, and I'm pasting right in here at the top. And so now we have translated this through, and we go back to our summary sheet here. And yes, we can see things have been translated. So that is awesome. I love how fast we can switch things through and it just uh, makes it really easy to go from English to any other language. So, all right. So that is really the subject that I wanted to cover today. Again, this is primarily aimed at international users or if you're used to working in English, but you want to say provide an output to a different language for your uh, for your clients to uh, to read through, say if they work in you know Spanish or uh, Chinese or any other uh, language, you can quickly just run this through and output things into this different format. So, all right, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. Uh, obviously, you can tell I'm super excited about this and everything that we do here at ContraBIM, which is a lot of ARCHICAD files and templates and Excel templates. Um, from here forward, everything we do is going to be built on this philosophy that you can work with a single input sheet and then have that trickle throughout so that it's super easy to translate to any language out there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on another video here very soon.